I found a huge box waiting for me today. It's uh, my new Diamondback Release 4 Carbon. So I'll be um, opening it here and just kind of unpacking and showing what comes uh, with the package. Alright, so I cut up the, um, the little tabs. Open up here the box. Okay, and first thing that's on the top, the little uh, diamond back booklet. Check out the assembly guide for additional tips. Congratulations. And actually, a very nice little pamphlet there with a magnetic closure. Cardboard and it's another box. All right, probably a parts box. All right, and what do we have here? There we go. So we have a nice uh, shock pump. Pedals, let's see what that is, and a little uh, torque wrench. It's pretty nice. So, presentation so far is uh, very nice. Alright, so we have the seat with the, with the <laughs> as a reflector, with the uh, dropper post here. So we have everything's with uh, Velcro. Frame looks nice. Velcro here. Little Velcro straps. Gotta admit, I'm um, very impressive with the packing here. And the bars in there. Reusable Velcro straps. Very nice. It's very well packed. It looks like um, it came in very good condition. Alright, let's get this camera off here and get a little closer so we can see some of the details. So we have the Fox 34 with the Fox float in the rear. Shimano SLX. Um, this uh, uh, race face of I think it's the effect with the cinch. It comes with a steel um, sprocket there, so that's going to be changed to aluminum. And I'm also going to um, change that to tubeless. <clears throat> so, a closer look at the box with some uh, parts. We got some uh, zip ties. Got a little bag that has the tubeless uh, valves. And they are, they do come with a uh, removable, removable uh, valve core. So that's nice for when you're converting. And you have an extra derailleur hanger. You have the shock pump. It's actually a nice uh, shock pump. <clears throat> I looked up this uh, pump before receiving the bike, and it retails for about twenty-five to twenty-seven dollars. So, nice little Diamondback pump, aluminum. You have a pretty basic torque wrench. Goes from zero to twelve newton meters. It's pretty cool because in here it has uh, bits that I can't get to right now. There we go. So it has the bits in there. Pretty nice. Uh, 
and then um, you have some decent petals. Oh, they're they're nice and light too. Got to pop up, pop off the reflectors, and underneath we have instructions for the derailleur, the torque wrench, all kinds of things here. This brakes. 2018 Fox Shot Owner's Guides. Uh, converting to tubeless. Protector. A mud guard. And the manual for the KS dropper post. So this ready ride system seems uh, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna. Um, I took off all the Velcro, and now I removed. I uh, removed the uh, uh, part of the stem to put the handlebar. So basically, gonna put the handlebar on. Seat post, pedals, front wheel, and that should be it. It should be ready to to ride after that. Um, the frame came in good, really nice condition. The lines are really nice on the frame. Got the 2018 Fox with the Evo or extra volume. Got the SLX. Have that huge rear cog there. I think it's a 46 and um, the frame I got is the large. I'm <clears throat> a hair over 510. was debating whether to get the um, medium or the large. Alright, time to put the rest together. Oh, wow. And the, um, I wasn't sure of this if the fork would be the Evo, the 2018, but it is. So that's uh, that's very sweet with the um, with the grip. And there's the end product, um, all mounted up, pedal serene. I did use a real torque wrench rather than the little um, strange one that was supplied as we're speaking it's raining outside so it'll have to wait to try it out but once so um, maybe in the next few weeks I can um, put a video with a review and just so you can see my old bike now that's my old Diamondback across and there's a Cannondale Super V behind that. So hopefully I'll uh, put some updates um, when I get to ride it. Thanks for watching.